Wait, that lamp was on it. Ah, god dang it. Let's see if I was right. I was right. Smooch? Aww. Oh! Hello, everybody. Rena Mew here, and welcome back to Ekenfell. Last time we left it, I get into the Twilight Garden. So we can go into the Nightfall Tower and meet with that. Well, she's not a prof Well, she is a. Hmm. She may be a professor, but she is also a student of last year, so. Hmm. Well, we'll find out soon. The only thing I know for sure is that there must be a giant monster or something because Oxley and his friend came off the building by jumping off it. Let's go! You insert the Twilight Stars. Yeah, it just took a little bit to put all those stars there. <laughs> Let's go Astronomy Tower. I'm assuming those lamps may be monster. Never mind. This building is so different from the others. This tower is where magic, history, mythology, and astronomy are taught. Mostly courses for first and second year students. Can we hurry it up a bit? Emma is probably in the observatory up top. I have a bad feeling about whatever plan Safina was hatching. It's alright, Purdy. I I'm worried too. Saf gets into trouble a lot, but she's not gonna blow this place up. I... I don't know if I believe that. I'll always investigate. Okay, lamp doesn't attack. Oh ho ho, a cherry! Ho ho, a comba candy! And we're walking on the walls, we're walking on the walls to make sure there's no secret path around. Oh, more tiki toki. In a time long ago, before our own, there only existed the vastness of space. Except for the great whale, Walla, who wandered the great emptiness for millennia. Walla found no other soul in her journey, no matter how far and wide she searched. But she did find magic. It had existed long before her, and would exist long after. Hmm. Something about a whale, eh? Those are star cubes. Aha! Hmm. Uh -huh. I solved the mystery! But I was in danger. Oh, wait, it's a whale. Walla breathed in as much magic as she could, blowing it out her blowhole with all her might. Out came all the stardust in the galaxy, glowing bright and beautiful. Overcome with joy, Walla flipped and turned. Walla flipped and turned, and her tail sent the stardust in all directions. It gathered across the galaxy and formed all the planets, stars, suns, and moons. To this day, Walla still swims across the vast galaxy, but she's no longer alone. Okay. We didn't investigate other. Uh, any dark secret paths around? Okay, let's get going. Wait, that lamp was on it! Ah, god dang it! How dare you, lamp! We can bubble snap you! There it is. We need to cast the defense. Oh, we 
or so out of range of each other. Now we're gonna do this, we're gonna increase our defenses. Oh ho! <laughs> I almost messed that up. Okay, you lamp drill B. You shall die. We're gonna force punch you then. Let's see if I remember how to do a force punch. Oh, good punch. Well then, I it. Okay, I'm just flying by the pants of me seat over here. The seat of my pants. No, the seam of my pants. Ah, come on. What? Whatever. We can go ahead and throw a nice bubble snap against this lamp, lampy. Solve it. One, two. Mmm, this is not good. I am good at getting the grates. Mmm, Ignite is always a trusty one. I need to know how much health you have, sir. Units, view units, it's a flutter lamp. <laughs> it ain't the flutter shy. No, they were not shy. They attacked me first. It was just bad. Real bad. <laughs> okay. If I back out a little bit, I can poison ya. Eat some poison. Increase our defenses again. Oh no, I don't mess up. Now we're gonna bubble snap. Oh, oh, oh. Now we don't need to worry about no lamps. <laughs> Here it comes. Now you shall meet the ignite. <laughs> okay, we need to recover some health on your end. Pow. Ow. Then retaliate. We did it! Oh yeah! We defeated the lamp! Now we know some of the lamps may be fakers. We're standing on both of them at the same time, but it's not reacting. Okay, we'll go upstairs. We go downstairs. Top right, bottom left. And there's a flutterfly there. Going around the world, around the world. Okay. Oh, so if you get out, the blocks are reset. So, we're gonna move this here and drop it this way. And this here, drop it here, and drop it this way. I have miscalculated. We need to reset. Okay, might have worked. Uh huh, it did work. The barrier has been turned off. No secret passages or doors or anything like that. Hmm, can I fall from here? Nope. They're brave enough, but that and smart enough. Oh boy. Chest. Secret path. Secret tunnel. A secret tunnel. Again, 
gonna play offensive here. I'm gonna motivate myself. This is gonna hurt. Smooch? Oh! oh. Uh, we don't have no traps to set up. Second, we're gonna poison. I can do this. Third, we can increase our defenses. Oh, Gemini. It seems this guy's a drill. Okie dokie. I'm gonna bubble snap this guy. Oh, he wants her so badly. He's gonna force punch you so hard. Nice tiny bubble snap. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Oh no 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 no. One, two, three. Stupid rock. Force punch again. What happened here? We cracked some eggs. Oh -ho. What was that? That was a scrambled egg. Any secret paths? Secret doors, secret tunnels. Nope. On one world lived the Maja, the twelve great mammoth, whose trunks could, uh, could reach the sky. They were the first of Wallace children to invent and create a language so they might speak. So this needs to look like a mammoth. Okie dokie. So this should be the leg. Yep. This should be another leg. That should be the snout. And this should be the butt. Let's see if I was right. I was right. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The Maja used their great strength to carve the mountains and seas, giving the world shape. Language, emotion, ethics, and law. These are the Maja's gifts to us all. No person knows where they rest now, perhaps inside the earth or in a faraway land. Let's go! There's something shiny there. That's a different set of stairs that come from above. So many stairs come from above. So this one goes up, or that goes down, or that goes up. Oh, this goes, wait, we forgot a closet back there. Pay attention, because if not, you're going to forget good items. Something like that. Every checking, checking everything. Our world was full of mountains, valleys, cannons, and seas beautiful at last. Across it flew, Rava, the great raven. She flew until she knew every inch of the world. 
The shadow cast by her wingspan was vast, but her ambition was even greater. So it's a raven. If I had to guess. Yep. That means this one will reflect that. Then this one. Knew it, because her wings bad, but it was like a B shape. <laughs> Rebel laid 99 eggs across all the lands, each one incumbent by one of her children. When they hatch, all the world's creatures emerge from them, populating the lands. While Walla and the Maja are gone to us, Rava's children watch over us, even to this day. So much history! Huh, we got a story guy on a closet. That. Mistress Mahogany trading closet. Place your money inside. Picture a dynamo in your head. Currently in prototype phase, so no free funds. You know what? And with this. I'm gonna call it a day. I'm assuming that the big bad boss is gonna be Ender, that big monster that Oxley mentioned. And I know right now is gonna be a long battle. Every boss in here has been a long battle. It's always entertaining, but it's a long battle. And it took so much to just climb up this tower. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I am finding interesting the lore of Ikenfell over here, Masha and Rasha, all the things that created this world, and all of that, and then those smoochy rocks and other things. Well, whatever. Okay, hope you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, or subscribe, or all three, or just two, or just one. I Y'all know what to do if y'all want. I hope y'all have a great day. Bye!